tennis rating. And we will be using this all year long on Tennis Channel. We are partnering with UTR. And you'll see a guy like Nick Kyrgios, who is ranked 21 in the world on the ATP World Tour. However, he is number 10 in terms of his universal tennis rating. I think Pachinski actually has a very has a much higher UTR. You're right, you're top 10. Yeah, she's better, around 30 market. now, but yeah. her UTR yep. is much it's higher. It's all based on your wins or how mm -hmm. close if you lose matches, your strength of schedule value. So it will be very interesting as we analyze that in real time during the course of the year. So check out that podcast, Sports Illustrated and Tennis Channel. We are leading up to our semifinals from Brisbane. First match is the American, Ryan Harrison, taking on the 18-year-old Aussie, Alex Dimonor. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Tennis Channel Live. I saw that on Tennis Channel. He beat Bolt in the final to get into the Australian Open again. But he has been so impressive. And it's very reminiscent of when the Davis Cup captain, Leighton Hewitt, broke through in Adelaide a bunch of years ago as a 16-year-old and won that tournament, beating Agassi in the semi and Stoltenberg in the final. And they kind of have similar traits in terms of the way they defend and use their backhands down the line, their competitive instincts, and their sneaky first serve. For Ryan Harrison, ATP Tour, he's ranked 47 in the world, but down to 105 in the UTR. And, and going up against a guy like Alex Di Minore, who doesn't have a high ranking, mm -hmm. not going to be able to pick up a lot of rating. I'm a little surprised by this one. Uh, Harrison certainly had a great year last year, got up to his highest year-end ranking there at, at 47. So and he's coming up potentially uh, to his uh, career high yeah. uh, if he's able to win this title. But perhaps because he hasn't beaten a lot of top That's players. Totally so it, if yeah. you're factoring that into the equation, that would certainly drop Harrison just a little bit. Yeah, when he won Memphis, he beat Bashevili in the final. Mm -hmm. He got to the final of Atlanta, lost to John Isner. He beat Kyle Edmund in the semi. So he's had some really good results. Uh, I guess it'll factor in his win in the French Open doubles. But, I mean, he's been on a great run. And this is a really interesting matchup for him because there aren't a lot of times where he'd be a significant favorite in ATP mm -hmm. 250 semi. But he's been tough. I mean, he's come through on that bottom section of the draw where Murray uh, pulled out. But, you know, he still has to win the matches. And he's won some tough matches, which bodes very well. The highest ranked player other than Grigor Dimitrov. He was the highest ranked player when Murray pulled out of that yeah. bottom half of the draw. But, he, but he's done his job. Well, I guess he had he needed Murray not to pull out, and then he could have beaten Murray, there you go. and that would have raised his UCR <laughs> considerably. I would imagine. <laughs> I'd say right now he's pretty focused on just getting to another ATP <laughs> World Tour final, and he's going to be fighting the hometown advantage of the young Aussie and managing his offense, the finishing forehand and the serve. He's been serving very well, very big. Mm -hmm. There are balls coming off of his racket, very hot in those conditions. So, and Demon gets a lot of balls back. He's played a big server already in Roundage and in Stevie Johnson. So, uh, it'll be an interesting matchup, but more so mentally how Harrison deals with being a favorite at this stage against a young Aussie. On the other side, got another Aussie, Nick Kyrgios and Grigor Dimitrov. Grigor, same, ATP, UTR, number three. That, that's just where the, the top three players in the world are that. Rafa, Roger, and Grigor, one, two, three in both ATP as well as UTR. But when it comes to Nick Kyrgios, 21 ATP, top 10, UTR. That one's obvious. Easy, easy. Yeah. And I think self-explanatory. Nick Kyrgios is a big match player. He's knocked off a number yeah. of the big names, those top three, four guys. So you can definitely see why he's higher. He, is, he should be higher in ATP rankings than 21. Totally. So let's start there. He'd be a strength of schedule guy. I mean, <laughs> this is a guy. He's only two players in history have beaten, I believe, Federer, Djokovic, and Nadal the first the time first they played. Time. And it's him and his Davis yeah. Cup captain, Leighton Hewitt. I mean, once again, he doesn't shy away from the big moment. He's had huge results on big courts in big tournaments against the top players. It's about the consistency, and we've seen it. It's been emblematic here in Brisbane. I mean, in both of his matches, he's it looked like he was going to lose, default, or look dominant. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's the range is spectacular. You saw two completely yeah. different players in both matches, yeah. and I think that's curious. That's what we have come to see. When he has it all together and it flows from start to finish, it's pretty un unbelievable. I mean, very often you'll look at a player and you'll say, oh, throughout his career, he looked like two different players. With Kyrgios, it's the extreme. It's like, within that game, he looked like two different players. Within that match, he looked like two different players. Uh, we said his top end is as good as it gets. Uh, let's see what he brings tonight. All right. Should be a stiff test for Nick Kyrgios at the start of the season. If you want to get your UTR at home, go to myutr.com. It's very simple. Register. You can get your rating. Justin, you, you got your rating the other day or a, a synopsis of what it I could be. It went up today after my baseline victory against Tommy Haas. So <laughs> yeah. it's that, you know, I, I plugged that in. You, <laughs> what would your UTR be? Have you done it yet? Very low. No. But, you know, if I, if I get a baseline win against you, 
It, it Justin would, normally gives me like a, a 10 raise. advantage. <laughs> and we're playing to 11, so if I can get one point, you know, I get, I get a little, we're little gonna handicap there. We're going to your UTR system. What is your UTR? Bring all those. I think my range, I plug it in it, from like 13 to 15. It, it gives you a range when you're a retired player and just mm. playing a couple days a week. But that's, that's, that's high, though. That's, 13 to 15, that's, that's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hurt some.